July is here and with it the second half of 2019. If you're feeling like you're falling behind with your goals, the mid-year is the perfect time to get a reset and start tackling all of those things you have to do and which will make you thank yourself in the future. But before we go on with it, I want to make a little shameless self-promotion and announce that there's currently a branded notebook on the works for this channel. It will be a moleskin type notebook with a flexible cover and dotted and numbered pages. If you're interested in this first attempt at a stationary line, all you have to do is go to the watch page and if you're interested, insert your email and you'll be notified when the notebook is in stock. There will be very few units available, so this is the only way to ensure that you'll be able to get your notebook before they sell out. International shipping is available and it will be around $7. All the links will be provided down below. So the first thing is to organize your finances and create at least a draft of a budget for 2020. I actually think that the mid-year is the best time to start budgeting for the following year. In July, you probably know how much you'll be earning for the next six months, and that will make you aware of how much money you'll be able to spend, to save and invest until January. Having all of these factors in mind will also allow you to look at the bigger picture and understand whether you should be asking for a raise, start a side hustle or cut back on some major unnecessary expenses. Start at least a one book per month challenge. In case you're falling behind with your reading goals, this is a good time to commit to stick at least with one book per month until the end of the year. Just pick six books that you think you will enjoy or books that are useful, order them online to save on shipping, if you don't have the option of finding them on your local library, of course, and commit to the challenge. Declutter that specific part in your house you know is giving you anxiety. This can be your wardrobe, a kitchen cabinet or that uncontrollable stationary drawer. Now it's the time to get rid of the elephant in the room and start cleaning. Schedule those appointments you've been dreading. Doctor's appointments, blood testing, a haircut, your car inspection. Scheduling these appointments via phone or internet will probably take a couple of minutes and a big chunk of being a responsible adult for the entire year will be taken care of just like that. Also reevaluate and reflect on your long-term lists. Like your bucket list, your 30 before 30 list, your 2019 resolutions list and so on. Maybe some of these goals made sense back in the day when you wrote them down, but they have become inapplicable or simply don't interest you anymore. Look at your schedule and track the time you spend doing what you currently do. Then try to understand whether there are things that you're doing which you can cut back on and will have no detrimental impact on your health or happiness. For instance, I was spending 6 hours a week going to a class I didn't enjoy and the thing wasn't even a part of my degree. I was wasting 6 hours per week in a place where I didn't want to be when no one actually forced me to be there. So I cut that from my schedule and I now have 6 more hours in the day to do stuff that I like. Plan something big for 2020. You should end 2019 and start 2020 with something to look forward to. And I think that planning a big project for the next year is the best thing to give you some motivation. This can be something like writing a book, going on a trip, volunteering, planning your wedding, getting a new job or starting a hobby. As soon as you have that pre-planned, you'll have all the tools you need in 2020 to start working on that project with all the brainstorming already done. Take a 30-day fitness challenge. Basically, commit to exercise for 30 days in a row. The intensity should vary depending on how comfortable you feel with exercising, but even taking a walk in the morning should feel like a big milestone when you're actually able to do it for a whole month. This challenge can kickstart your routine and make you enter 2020 with an established habit. Number 9 is a short one and is just call or message those people who you've lost contact with and want to start talking to again. Learn how to cook 5 new recipes. You don't need to go overboard with your cooking skills, but mastering 5 recipes in 6 months should be easy enough, give you enough time for the whole trial and error process and make you feel more confident that you can actually cook and don't need to order food as much as you usually do. And if you want to boost your organization skills and learn with the best, you can find tons of organization and planning lessons in Skillshare, who is sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with more than 25,000 classes in dozens of different categories, and they can help you build new skills, develop new strategies, and learn more about anything you feel curious about. 
Skillshare's portfolio includes productivity and business masterclasses, tutorials on how to work with different types of software, language classes, art and design courses, and so on. But if you're watching this video because you want to get more organized before 2020, you can start by watching Productivity Habits That Stick using Time Theming. Premium membership gives you unlimited access to all these incredible classes, so no individual payments required. And since Skillshare costs less than $10 a month for the yearly subscription, it's the perfect platform to continuously develop your study skills. If you use the link in the description box, you can get your first two months of unlimited classes for free. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you next week. Bye guys!